Um, we discussed with uh, Reut, and I would prefer if uh, you put all the presents in one bag, and, and then we have more time to dis to talk, and yeah. and we don't spend too much time. I mean, not that I don't like presents, but <laughs> it's better if we have time together. And uh, and I will open the presents and read your letters uh, when I'm peaceful in my in my room, and, and it's it's also a, um, very pleasant to to read your messages once I'm. I'm a little bit more private and I can, I can feel your, I can still feel your presence when I read your letter. <laughs> okay, so it's nice to see you. It's not so many opportunities to meet in Switzerland. I mean, even in Europe. In Europe. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think uh, after 10 years here in Bellinzona, it's nice to to uh, to see you and it's a great tradition for me to come to Bellinzona every year and in this village where it's actually small but so pretty with the castles and and the show is is very um, very nice very friendly uh, the cast is rather small but we are all good friends and old good friends um, so it's great that you that you come and and see this show I think it's a uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for all of us. Mm -hmm. You Please. know that it's live streamed, right? So Hi! <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. So there, there were people getting up for this at 3.30 in Mexico. So oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so we're in Mexico. No, yeah, that, that you're aware of this. Okay, good. Um, so we just, just, just ask questions? Yeah. yeah, I think the best is, uh, I don't know if, if you have a... Uh, question list or yeah, if you just have much. random questions please feel free to okay. ask whatever you want to ask um, I'm, I'm here, okay. here. <laughs> I'll, I'll, okay I'll start with the first question and then whoever wants okay. uh, I'll want to ask you about Youth Olympics yes it was fresh so mm -hmm. first share a bit your memories how you won for Lausanne, if you remember still, it was... Uh, it was in Kuala Lumpur, I don't yeah. even... I, I remember there was one big fact that I remember is that Dennis Ten was there to... Um, he for was Kazakhstan. the ambassador yeah. for the Kazakhstan bid and uh, and we met there. So that was one of the strong memory that I have from Kuala Lumpur. And um, <clears throat> Shui Shen and Hong Bo Zhao were also there. Um, Probably as the Chinese representative for the, it was the China, yeah, uh, the Beijing mm -hmm. Olympics. So it, it's always nice in in uh, in those uh, important events to see figure skaters representing uh, our country, and, um, and it was such a, I think a big moment for Lausanne and for my country to to get the Olympics because we, we tried so many times with 2002 and 2006 and we couldn't get the Olympics. So finally, with Lausanne, uh, we were able to win the Olympics in Switzerland after a very, very long time. Um, and it was actually uh, such a big honor also to be part of the opening ceremony. Um, we were able to um, remake the, the four seasons that I was doing with Dennis a couple years ago <coughs> and uh, um, Oliver was in charge for the skating part of the opening ceremony and he really wanted to uh, bring back this idea of uh, passing the knowledge to the next generation um, of course Dennis is uh, getting ready for Europeans and he, he all, he's also here so for him it was a little bit too much logistic wise and he's not uh, the young yeah I mean he's still young and he's still but he's not he's not exactly he's right now um, in the circuit so um, that's why uh, we asked Naoki to, to do this little part and um, and he's a great talent from Switzerland, so that makes uh, a little bit more sense. Uh, it was actually, the piece is quite difficult, and um, it was very um, uh, tricky to, to give him the directions and, and the pace, because it's rather the part of the summer is rather uh, slow, you have to hold the edges, you have to be patient, and the space was very small, so it's even more difficult because you need to skate slower, and to keep edges when you're slow, it's it's even harder. So that was the big challenge of that number, and uh, and when you're young, you have a lot of energy and you want to show a lot of things. <laughs> so, 
for him it was probably like, oh my God, why do I need to keep this head forever? <laughs> but yeah. um, but he was looking at me very carefully, so it went all good. And uh, and yeah, to share the stage with with a young skater um, from Switzerland was actually uh, a very good good thing. And to see also all those groups, uh, the Royal Ballet uh, representing the Prix de Lausanne. And uh, I, I really loved that part that they were dancing to Arvo Bert. It was a, a fantastic piece. And um, that was probably the highlight for me, uh, just because I love to see this kind of movement. And, uh, but the energy uh, among all the groups, uh, the mini strings, uh, the Cirque de l'Ecole de, de Lausanne, and uh, the dance school from Zurich, and all together, putting this show together in such a short time was quite unique. Yeah. All the impressions, I mean, it was a short time and very intense. And, and you will be back on Sunday, right? Are you, will you go back to Lausanne? To the uh, no, no, no. You have fewer students. No. Okay. Yeah, my students yeah. are waiting, waiting. for me. Yeah. <laughs> and we are right now, um, so in our rink in Champéry, the curling event yeah. is happening. So we are not able to um, to practice there. So we relocated uh, uh, for the big kids. Uh, we relocated in Telfs yeah. in Austria, and um, and on Sunday we are going back, back there to because they are back to Telfs. Yeah. To Telfs. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 You go to yeah. Europeans from Telfs. from Telfs. Yeah. We yeah. go to Europeans. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So that's our home. Like for, for now. <laughs> for now. Um, yeah, yeah. Bellinson is is home and uh, and then Telfs again. Good for Europeans not so far to grab. Yeah, yeah. We still need to do <laughs> two flights though. <laughs> flights? Can't you go by car? Like yeah, from but it's it's, it's six, a lot of luggage. It's a lot of <laughs> luggage. We don't have the car. Like, we yeah. will not have the car there. Yeah. And, uh, it's easier yeah. to go through Vienna and then Vienna grab. Yeah, Even yeah, the yeah. train, it's six hours. It makes uh, it's easier. To fly. Yeah. to fly. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> if I may just back to the Olympic ceremony, were you able to watch the other parts when you were not skating and from where? I was watching? watching the live stream in the dressing room. <laughs> 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 and it was yeah. actually very nice to, to see it, uh, the close-ups. and yeah. Because I saw some parts during the rehearsal. We had two dress rehearsals. So during the dress rehearsals, I was able to, uh, there was a, a secret door and I was watching from the secret door, but they, they told us that during the show, we should, we should actually uh, be a little bit more discreet and, and not use the, the secret doors that we know. So I stayed in my dressing room and watched the, the live stream. It was, it was also nice to see from an, another angle. Yeah. <coughs> All right, um, so. Well, anyone can help. <laughs> yes. Um, I, yeah. 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 She's ready. She's ready. <laughs> yes, but I don't want to take <laughs> the opportunity <laughs> for other people. But well, uh, when you travel to Japan like a lot, and you said that even last year you went there like once every month. So um, as Japan for many of us is like a dream travel location, um, what do you think like? Um, what is the most, maybe most cultural difference, or what when you, when you think of Japan, or what someone has to know when he comes to Japan as someone of us who has never been there? <laughs> to enjoy the the culture in in all different ways. Um, it, it, I mean. To experience as much as possible because it's yeah. it's a country with uh, with so many um, beautiful things to visit, uh, cultural places, uh, the old architecture. I love the the pottery, for example. Mm -hmm. I did uh, pottery classes oh, in oh, Japan, yes, 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 so yes. this is something that I totally recommend. And I love Japanese pottery, so um, mm -hmm. and the food, of course. I mean. Anything you try will will yeah. taste so good. Yeah. I totally recommend shabu shabu or sukiyaki <laughs> or tempura or sushi or. <laughs> Is there a difference between sushi sushi you eat in Europe and in Japan? Oh like, my you, god! You see the difference yeah. like really much. I, I almost don't yeah. eat sushi in, in uh, outside Japan. Uh, Japan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense to me. 
to me too. I mean, in Switzerland, we, yeah. the fish that we get will never be as fresh as the fish that you find it in, in, in Japan. Japan. So it makes, to me, not so much sense to, to eat sushi here. Yeah. <laughs> we all love it here already, so it must be super great please, in Japan. Please, please, yeah. please. <laughs> and what is like the most difference, like cultural difference, what comes to your mind between European people and Japanese mentality? Or... Um, I think Swiss and Japanese, they are actually pretty similar. Okay. Uh, in the sense that they love to organize, <laughs> they love to be on... I'm not on time, but <laughs> regular yeah, yeah. Swiss and yes. the regular Japanese, they love to be on time. Yeah. <laughs> and um, um, and very hard workers. Like I, I have to say that uh, I learned um, I learned this um, way of putting your concentration and your energy. Uh, for for a long time and I, I really admire that um, it helps you to get the quality that you want and to be efficient and and at the end it gives you to have this responsibility gives you a big satisfaction so I think uh, this is something that I, I learned from the, mm -hmm. the Japanese culture and also from my parents I mean uh, yeah. my parents they they taught me um, when I start something I finish and this is something I think important for mm -hmm. for for the young generations yes. because right now um, I feel like there is always the need to do something, mm -hmm. but actually there is not so much the need to finish is, something. Yes. So I think that this is something mm -hmm. that I have learned yeah. and that I, I I appreciate in in someone's culture. Yeah. <coughs> what about your Japanese? My, sorry? Your Japanese language. Oh, yeah. My language? language. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, you said daijoubu. <laughs> daijoubu, daijoubu, daijoubu. Yes, I have a few words that I that I use. And um, uh, with Shoma, it's quite like with Shoma and, and with Koshiro as well. I mean, once you know the person, Mm -hmm. uh, the body language is, is probably yeah, enough, it's 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 the Japanese language probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's already but now the show is obviously he needs to learn more English, right? Yeah. So you can kind of do a <laughs> language exchange. We do. He can teach you more <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, exactly. Than you we we try him. through our eyes. We try to do that <laughs> that language exchange. <laughs> And, uh, and it's funny because um, our sentences are rather uh, compact, and, uh, but the words are very impactful. So, right. Yeah, so even if I use one Japanese word, it will be impactful. Or if That's he, true. Yeah, mm -hmm. If he uses one English word, it will connect to something uh, yes, I think that I, I have needs. experienced. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we can all relate Emotional to... Connection. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, we relate to one word, and, and it gives us an image. <laughs> and also, I, I would like to know, uh, tell us uh, what's the idea of the, your costume for the Beethoven program? It's oh, very curious. Oh. <laughs> Reut, would you like to comment? <laughs> <laughs> She's the biggest fan. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, what can I say? I mean, um, it's... So Kenta, uh, who who choreographed mm -hmm. that number. Um, he, we were sharing some ideas for the costumes and um, he was mentioning this material that uh, Issey Miyake is using for one of his collection. And, um, and I really liked the material he showed, he has uh, used before for, for his show. And I really liked the material. I, the most important thing for the costume, in my opinion, is the material. Right. Like I, you have to be. I need to feel. Yeah, I need to feel the material, and it, it has. If the material is good, uh, usually the light on it will, will, will make that material uh, shine or give the effect that mm. we need. So I really liked the material in that case, and um, and then once we decide that we will use this uh, plissé material um, we went when we were in Japan we went to uh, Issey Miyake headquarters and we tried a couple things and um, 
and once we made the decision then we chose the color and the fit and uh, there was also this uh, idea to use a um, from the same collection to use a, a very long long coat um, and this uh, finally because we had already choreographed the number we decided not to to use the coat because it's it, it would be a waste to put that mm -hmm. so we will use the coat for another yeah. another occasion where we will actually have the code for creating the co mm. the program, but yeah, we need time now to to do that. So, <laughs> so yeah, the the whole concept was uh, to find something that would not look like a figure skating costume, actually. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, and and. But I think you, know, you made a great decision to you know, use an uh -huh. So you do lots of a uh, very subtle, arms. delicate uh, mm -hmm. movement of arms, mm -hmm. and you can see more. Mm -hmm. and I think that's that's lovely. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you very much. And actually, the pants they are the color of the curtains here. So <laughs> <laughs> pretty comfortable as well. Yeah, yeah. It looks so very nice. comfortable yeah. and very easy movable. Easy to wash with other colors. <laughs> Not easy to wash with, with other yellow pants. No. <laughs> no, 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 not easy to work, but quite, quite nice. And Chris actually uh, yesterday, or I don't remember when he saw the pants for the first time, he thought they were white from the video. Oh, yeah, it looks white on the video. Yeah, I thought they were And then they're he was great. like, they're white. this color. Oh, they're the green, yeah. the mint green. green. Mm -hmm. They're mint? Oh. They're mint. It looks white on the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure it's mint. Point. It's like, it like those. It looked white even in Chantal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so probably in Champagne it was the first time that he saw the pants and he was like, oh my god, they're not white. No, they're not <laughs> I thought white. they were light grayish. <laughs> well, anyway. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Voilà. Yeah, voilà. Um, okay, you're quite busy nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the competition schedule? Like, are you planning to take students anywhere between Europeans and worlds? Or it's like from Europeans directly? Some no, small competitions in yeah, Europe? Yeah, we have, we have planned a uh, few competitions. Uh, between Europeans and worlds, and we are now still planning or starting to plan for those weeks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But so there's not know. a competition that you can say we are going back. We are going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We'll be somewhere. Okay, but we can't book any tickets yet. Um. <laughs> we also Better. need a manager. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, um, as you talked in another interview with Riot about tastes of uh, spices for the, for the programs, programs, yes, yeah. and um, I would be interested, what do you think is the taste of the <laughs> Four Seasons program? <laughs> You can get four. It's four. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it actually <laughs> it needs <laughs> it, it actually needs yeah. not only one taste. I think it mm -hmm. has has definitely a couple couple taste. I think it would it would be like a a cake with four layers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I would definitely some um, sugar powder on top to represent mm -hmm. the snow. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and I don't know what. Would, we would need inside so it. Do for no, it's okay. It's, but it could be a cheese. Like one layer could be like kind of a, uh, cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, like a cream, cream cheese, cheese layer. Cheese, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that could be definitely it. Like maybe a vanilla kind of uh, taste, and then. But yeah, you need to be careful with too many tastes. But yeah. it has definitely different, like mm. different flavors. Make Dennis cook this. Okay, I would ask him to make a four, four season cake. Four season cake. Okay. What With about some poetas? What, what did we say? Like you arabiata, said, something yes. like spicy, spicy <laughs> arabiata, or something like that. Like like a bruschetta or something like. Yeah. But with spices or even. Yeah. But we were, <laughs> but now that I think about it, there is in Portugal. Um, a traditional dish that is called the pili pili chicken, oh. and it's a very spicy uh, fried chicken. And uh, yeah, that could be also it with some nice French fries. It's a bit heavy, but it has. Uh, I think this, this program kind of is really spicy. Yeah, it's <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, and, and down the road. Down the road, I would um, something like 
like popcorn. You, know? like... <laughs> <laughs> you ask your favorite program? Uh, the water. The water. Oh. Ah, that is like a gin tonic kind of. <laughs> I would say it's a drink. It's a gin tonic. <laughs> because it has the color of the water, yeah. but it tastes bitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it goes well inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I will ask again. Uh, it was announced that you start a new position in Swiss Federation as, yes. uh, as who and what you like a uh, main I'm a coach for the for the national team okay. and um, my responsibility is so the skaters they are free so first of all the, the skaters will remain with their coaching team so I'm not going to have my the national skaters in Champéry but they will remain with their uh, coaching team wherever they train and they get <clears throat> the possibility to um, to have a, a, a complement, like a, mm, supplement. a supplement, yeah, an addition for their work, and this uh, is uh, as some credits that they get, and with those credits they can uh, book weekends or days where, where they come in Champéry and we work either if the coaching team uh, wants to focus on the choreo I will work with them on the programs or if they want to focus on technique they will. Uh, so I just receive a responsibility from the coaching team and then we use those credits to work on, on whatever they, they would like me to work on so it's it's a complement it's, it's a supplement to an addition to uh, what they already have and um, I think it's it's great because it doesn't force them to change anything, but it gives them actually an extra uh, plus. Plus, when um, when they are in competition and I'm also there, uh, I'm able to join the Swiss team as part of uh, the team leader and uh, team official that is there. So. It's, and I know most of the skaters because I've been also doing some seminars with the Swiss Skating Federation uh, last summer. <coughs> so, yeah, it's it's a teamwork with their coaching team. So you also build some, build some plans, like do you follow their development? Or of course I follow their development and with the federation. I mean, the federation, they, they, they make the decision who is in the national team and and whatever they decide, and I, I can also share my opinion, and uh, who is uh, like in the team, and what, what I recommend, and what I suggest for each skater. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good teamwork. I mean, I'm, and it's also not um, the responsibility where you have the full student in, in your hand, but it's more like, Okay, there is the federation, they have their coaching team, and in between, they have someone that they can actually work on what they really need. Also, Chambry was named as one of the ICU something centers. Yeah. So, they have uh, announced a few uh, centers of excellence. And we have already uh, made a, a meeting with all the centers, and actually, they are now putting all the ideas on the table and what those centers they are able to do together. So, for, for instance, when ISU is organizing a, a seminar or when ISU is willing to, um, yeah, to organize an event, they, they have those centers that can actually connect together and say, okay, we can use the competence of this center for this matter and the competence of this center for that matter. So it's it's also building up um, a team that shares competence and that can organize in the future some events or some seminars or development projects that have been already <coughs> organized by the ISU in different uh, ice rinks, but to have it more official and, and it's still in the process but right now, 
it's good that we we share as many ideas as possible to to be able to in the future to develop and defend the, the skating that that we want to defend. <laughs> And there were some pair tryouts in Champery in the autumn. You yeah, we did. Like we did do a, a weekend of tryouts with uh, Bruno Masso, and that was actually quite interesting. I um, the idea came came because mm -hmm. one of my skater Luke Digby he he hurt his uh, knee uh, in his meniscus, and since this uh, injury, um, he's now slowly uh, coming back to the ice and he has decided to uh, move to pairs so in order to help him also to make that decision um, it was important for me to give him the, the opportunity to try to see what it is and and with bruno we discussed about it so we organized that that weekend um, to do that Oh, yeah, that's what happens with you. Look, <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's when you have an injury, you yeah. you have to question yourself uh, what to do, and, and it's yeah, always sure. a, a difficult time because you don't, you are not active. Yeah. I mean, you are active in your rehab, but you are not on the ice, and yeah. and the time is going, and you see the others working, yeah. and so it's of course a, a, a difficult time for for an athlete. But I think uh, my responsibility is to to help him find uh, a way to yeah. yeah a way to make it work and to once he's healthy he's able to. But he won't continue. train in Champagne then anymore as pair. You don't teach pairs. Right, right, yeah. yeah. right now we have yeah. yeah right now we have not yeah. set any yeah. any, any plan. He needs yeah. to find a girl and it's yeah. a, it's a process. He yeah. needs to be healthy. He needs to find a girl yeah. and then and then, then let's we'll, see yeah, yeah. Then let's see. This actually leads me to a very spontaneous question yeah. because this story that reminds me of spinning out. I guess you've heard of yeah. that. Yes. Yeah, because there's a single space skater getting into pairs after she got injured. Yeah. Have you watched it or at least? I uh, have um, <laughs> watched. Uh, did I watch just the first episode? Maybe. I yeah. I had to stop in between because yeah, it, yeah. It, it's it's a bit slow. Yeah, like not, a, the, well, not much happening. So the first I'm not the biggest fan. But <laughs> I mean, yes. I, I just yeah. saw the first episode, and and there are some things that I like. Mm -hmm. um, Your best friend Johnny. Yes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. expecting. He's yeah. 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 in the third episode. Yeah. Oh, second God. or third no, episode. I don't know if I will yes. have the patience. <laughs> you can just keep second. <laughs> he's the he's yes. the best part of the whole yeah, he serial. Like okay. He's okay. really cool in this. He's okay. really a highlight. Okay, I will try to hold on, but yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. to the third one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's <laughs> a lot of drama that. and everything. It's fine. I like drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I'm fine with drama. I just wanted. Like, Go on. Yeah. yeah. After 40 minutes, I was just like, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> yeah. You can always do some stretching. Something. Right. Yeah. And right. Okay. Please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um, anyway. This is a musical nice This is getting a, one of the very, very rare opportunity for us fans to see you perform. Oh. You are always yeah. performing in Japan, yeah. but not here. Uh -huh. And so uh, and then we were wondering. Then you yeah. have many opportunities to come to Japan. <laughs> 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 like Every month. That would be the, the next opportunity for us to see you perform in, in this part of the world. <laughs> Next music on us. <laughs> no, for no. sure there will there will be uh, a show during Christmas time in Chambéry for sure, and I don't know before that. I, uh, You're too busy as a I, I I plan a lot for the for the skaters and and of course when there is an opportunity to perform I take it, but right now the planning is mostly for for the skaters. Any chance of coming back to the opera? Now? Uh, that's a good question. I was so disappointed. <laughs> this time, I, I come from Rome. Okay. And this time, finally, they did it in Rome. Rome. So, ah, Stefan's gonna come. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know, I, you know, I It was in the same it time as Japan, the, the same. Japan Open. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. so I, it's but if it doesn't... doesn't uh, I mean, I performed in Japan Open, and it was. Yeah, but if you don't have any any conclusions plans, do you agree? Yeah, oh, if yeah. if it fits with the with the schedule of my yeah, skaters, sure. I will I will definitely consider it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard question, I guess. <laughs> to please everyone is really hard. 
I mean, I, no, we, I, it's very, like, I, 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 I'm not against any show, I'm not against yeah. anything, I, I want to do everything. We're just I, happy when I, you come at some point. Just need more hours in the day. <laughs> and more days in the year. Yeah. Do you miss, like, being on the ice more? I, I really enjoy when I, when I perform, like, for me, it's, the adrenaline is still something that, that is very scary, like, before I, I step on the ice, I'm, I'm amazed by the fact that even though it's been almost 30 years, it's still there, and, and it's still hard to, to control it, like, once it hits you, it's, it's like, Am I gonna be okay? Like, <laughs> am I gonna, gonna gonna be fine doing what I what I'm doing for 30 years? So there is still this adrenaline uh, shot that uh, that hits me, but it's a good I, yeah. yeah, I I love it, and and I once the music starts, it, it it's easier than to be a coach because yeah. when the music mm. starts as a coach, that's when it starts like to. As a spectator as well. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. It's exactly it. So like, for you're fine, 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 and then the music starts, and you're like, I'm not fine. Yes. But as a skater, it's the total opposite. So you're not fine. You're not fine. You're not fine. Then, you're fine. then the music yeah. starts. Then, yeah, then it's kind of like, okay, play. <laughs> I'm still looking forward to your show, your old show. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the best. Me too. Yeah. I'm looking that's forward. Then. Yeah, but it looks quite difficult. Yeah. I'll make it happen. I will, yeah, I will make it happen. When it happened, it was wonderful. Thank yeah. you. I will make it happen. So there will be an opportunity someday soon, but I, I, I will not be able to tell you exactly when. We'll be waiting. Okay. Yeah. So much pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy when it's there. Yes, we will. That's what I do. I, I, when there is an opportunity, I, I really enjoy it. Until that, we will see you perform at the board when Shomara oh, yeah. is on the Shiro skate. Can yeah. you imagine standing still while you're watching I one had, of your students? I had. I but had, completely still. I had been okay. standing really? still. Like, yeah. Sometimes I'm. Sometimes I'm. And then the student fine. looks at you like, okay, something's not. not <laughs> <laughs> well, but you don't. They should not focus on this. When you skate, do you see anything else? No, no, no. As a skater, do you as a pay skater, attention to as a coach? A, and even as a coach, you, okay. you, I, I just see my skater and. I, I don't know what I'm yeah. thinking or doing. But I, I can feel that sometimes I'm still. Maybe I'm not, but <laughs> I, 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 I can, sometimes I really, like, the program is over and I'm like, oh, I didn't move this time. <laughs> and then you watch the video. And I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> Maybe, <yeah. laughs> it's time. So, two more questions. Okay, so we have one last question with them. Yeah, yes, yes, for that? Yes. So one more question, and I really I start passing this web, so please, if you have a present, please put it here. Thank you. Don't leave yes. it for afterwards, because I need to leave yeah. here. Okay. Any other okay, questions? Okay, so one more question. Okay. So I'll ask the last one, then I will do it. Okay. When you have time for yourself, mm -hmm. I mean, holiday. For me, once I'm on the ice, <laughs> once I'm on the ice, that that is time for myself. I mean, and I'm on the ice every day, so I have time for myself every day. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's for me. Once I have my skates on, it's. Okay, it's okay, you I, and and I, I I feel like as a skater or as a coach, when there is one. When there is someone to receive, it's it's already enough for me. Like, yeah, I mean, I share this moment uh, when I'm coaching, and it feels it feels like I'm getting what I need. I I don't know how to explain it. So imagine there are no ice rinks available, and you must go on holiday. Okay. Where would you go? I probably so now so the the the. the <laughs> I know how to answer to that question. 
<laughs> because because I have no, I have experienced it, and um, and it's true that sometimes you feel like tired or you feel like uh, what you do is not enough or something like that, and and around me there are many babies. I have, uh, I mean, my colleagues Anna and Rob, they have a baby, and uh, my sister-in-law, she has two babies. And my sister, she has one baby, and my brother, he has two daughters, and now my best girlfriend, she has a she has a baby also. So there are a lot of babies, and when I'm with baby, with the baby, I I feel there is everything in there. Like it's just so peaceful, and and I forget everything. I forget. You can have the worst day. Ever, once you have a baby in your hands, you, you forget everything, and that is so so beautiful. Like I I spend two hours with my my niece and like I'm refreshed and, and I can go on for for a few months again. So yeah, if I would not have uh, an ice rink open and not be able to put my skates on, I would probably spend time with, with okay, my... Okay, so your dream job is the you arrange a <laughs> You said it wouldn't go for the people around you. The, yeah. Well, so now if they need some free time, they know... Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, ready. I'm ready. No, yeah. it's, it's, it's wonderful. And it's so funny, like, we... Um, with my mom, we bought a, a small uh, baby kitchen for my niece. Um, so she's gonna turn two in February. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sister from your sister? From my sister. <coughs> and uh, in that mini kitchen, there is a fridge. So I was asking her, like, bring me the carrots. <coughs> we will put them in the fridge. So she goes. She puts, and then uh, of course, once she puts the carrots, she wants to put everything in the fridge. So she puts everything. Okay, one more. And, one more. and so we put like everything in the and for such a long time doing this, and it's so much fun. And then, exactly. 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 So you start going with them where they they go and you feel like a kid again too. exactly and <laughs> again we come back to the japanese language it's it's <laughs> much more than that she's not body language she's yeah. not putting sentences together yeah. but we can communicate so easily mm -hmm. and uh and yeah that's a good yeah. <laughs> <Voilà. laughs> all right so then we have the the last thing it's just a little this and that you have to choose between one of these two things okay all right uh it's really easy black or white chocolate black um pasta or rice rice <laughs> um pepper or chili pepper black uh, pepper mm -hmm. uh honey or jam I have to choose. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a very difficult one. I used to be jam, yes. but now that I'm getting older, I appreciate the honey as well. So I, I yeah. would say that I'm probably going towards honey. Honey, yeah. okay. But oh. I used to be totally jam. Okay, good. Um, coffee or tea? No. <laughs> I would say if I had to choose, yeah. For the rest of my life, yes. coffee. Okay. And um, carrots, lo carrots loved by the rabbits or cheese loved by the mice? <laughs> like carrots or cheese? Carrots. Uh, yeah, that's the best answer. answer. All right, so now you chose your present. <laughs> but I'll put the jam. Oh. Very well, then you can cheese. What? But I will put the jam in. In there as well. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so you have honey and jam. I'm 50-50. You also want the coffee and the tea. <laughs> you don't need to cheese for the rest of the life. Oh, that's that's awesome. awesome. I love jam, that's fine. And the honey, I love it. <laughs> In Telfs, that's all the things that we we'll all... Oh, perfect. So. Perfect. Can I use for filter coffee also? I think this is for, for drip coffee. Yeah, I think or it's for Or only for for drip no, coffee, it works. It's for perfect. filter coffee, yeah. Awesome. Just experiment. Rice, perfect. <laughs> yes. Dark chocolate, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, amazing. So you knew you were ready for this. Yes. Wow, for 50 50, you're amazing. You know me. Uh, awesome. Thank you All so right. much.
And that was also a good guess. <laughs> but if if there was no more, if there was nothing, nothing left, left. coffee would in the morning. Coffee always mm. helps. Yeah. It's like a baby sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Okay, I will stop. The and the good thing about the babies from the others is that you, you can give them back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Oh. Not mine. Yeah. So nice for um, hours. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I would for sure yeah. be happy. Like, if this would happen to me, I, I would take the responsibility. But yeah. I understand that once is keep them up. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <Yes>. Good luck. Easy <laughs> also. Alright, I go off the live stream. So bye bye. Bye bye Mexico and the others also. Japan. Yes, yes, to see you Japan, Japan also. also. <laughs> yes, see you. And actually, you know what? There is many ladybugs on the on the iPhone iPhone <laughs> that you did is holding. <laughs> so bye bye ladybugs also. <laughs> bye bye. Uh.